Hello, hello, hello. How are we doing today? I just realized I forgot to brush my eyebrows. I'm not feeling very good about it. Hello, 07. Hello, Callus. Hello, Gim. Hello, Dav. I hope my PC blows up too on God. Okay. Motherfuckers complaining about ads when I'm not even on the stream. I'm not on. I'm not. It's a starting soon screen. What is. What? I care. What the hell? Look, I just added an emote for Emmanuel. Hold on. Adding emotes. Boy, this so tough. What is what is that from? What it, what is that? You got uh, you got Twilly with a uh, with a these nuts. Oh my god, Twilly's a Twilly is a noob streamer, so that's not fair. What's up, Phoenix? Oh my god, you're on Twitch. Nice stream streaks, by the way. Sorry, I'm just adding emotes. Um, What I'm trying to do... So, look. So, over time... Over time, like, I've been, I've been, like, building my new way of doing emotes just because I tried to do it differently before. Um, where I... It, doesn't matter. Technical talk doesn't matter. I was doing it a different way before, but I changed up my my method and now I've just been like over time building emotes for certain seasons and I think it's really cool. So, um probably like after Thanksgiving is when I'll finally um put the Christmas emotes on cuz I feel like that's like truly like when it gets closer to Christmas time. You know, I have my Halloween emote set that I used and I also, you know, not every emote is going to have a Halloween themed version, obviously. So I have to also make sure that like I add the classics to these two, you know. Sounds good, Louie. I should try streaming Elden DLC instead. Oh, okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Um, how about no? How about fuck you? Fuck the Elden Ring DLC. And um, yeah, I mean, that's pretty much it. That's all I wanted to say, really. Stream Honey Pop. What's that? But yeah, basically, like, I've been, like, adding all the stuff on Trending. A lot of um, hey, it's me, Goku. a lot of emotes on trending have like been popping up. Phoenix, oh okay. So did you get the did you get the notification from Discord? Well, let's go W Discord moment. Thank you for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate it. I'll be hopping back into Rocket League in a moment. I'm just. Trying to add the rest of these trending ones. I don't know. I just think, like, I don't even know what... I don't know exactly... why I get so 
not festive. Not like I really care that much about like uh other holidays that much. Halloween's my favorite, but I don't know. I just think it's cool to have like festive emotes and I think it's really cool to just have like, you know, as as different like seasons or holidays or whatever. I'm gonna try to have as many like different emote sets as I can. So I'll have one for Christmas. I'll have one for Halloween. There's like, I don't think there's such thing as like Thanksgiving emotes. So that's not really a thing. Like Thanksgiving is just an American thing. So there's like no Thanksgiving emotes or anything. I think it's just more like fall. Um, What other Halloween or not Halloween, what other like holidays or whatever would have like a theme you think? Christmas, Halloween, live on Twitch. It's okay to care. I'm just saying, like, I think it's cool to, like, have the emote sets and stuff. I think it's really, like, festive and just, I don't know. It just adds a little bit. Jan 6 holiday. I'm going to add, hold on. I'm going to add an emote. Do you have 7 TV? I'm going to add hoggers. I'm going to start adding piggy emotes. There you go. It's okay to not have nonchalant aura. I just added a certified Hassan emote. Okay. I finished adding emotes for now. I've been like slowly adding to it every day. I saw I like I already have like almost 300. Hassan W, I love ha dude. I have I have an unhealthy amount of Hasanabi Twitch channel points. And I watch a lot of his YouTube content too. Hi Kaz, what's your favorite GameCube game so far? Yo, what's good twin? When he pops off with the yo, I fucking die. Sometimes I forget that he can actually be, like, pretty fucking funny, too. He says shit that, he says shit that like, um, just catches me off guard with how funny it is. And especially, like, when it's from, like, a, when it's from, like, an actual, like, I don't even, I don't even, like, want to use the word leftist anymore because so many fucking Democrats have co-opted the word. When it's from like an actual like socialist perspective and stuff, it just makes it like that that bit funnier. What's up, Shamzo? Animal Crossing is a game I know a lot of people love, but I never got into myself. Ooh. I want to see you play the Pokemon games because I want you to catalog or at least tell I want you to at least tell me about your journey through them. I want to see which one you like the most. The best is Pokemon Black and White, by the way. Does it matter? Um, not really. No. It's, they're not really like connected. Each each like different game is like a different story. Dude, I think the best part of that interaction, Phoenix, was the fact that Ben, like, gendered him correctly at the start. And was like, oh, like a bro, huh? Get, get this guy a beer. And, like, was, like, literally complimenting, basically complimenting him on, like, his masculine aura and shit. And then, and then was just on the back foot the whole time. Like a boss. Oh, is that what he said? Like a boss. <laughs> Such a fucking dork. 
<laughs> Dumb. Like a boss, my dude. <laughs> what a fucking nerd. Holy shit. I had to put on his cool act. Oh yeah, Ben Shapiro is so cool. When I think of... When I think of cool people, I think Benjamin Shapiro. <sighs> anyway. I'm already warmed up. Like, I already played for a bit off stream, so... It's funny, Kaz, it's funny, like, I know you're joking, but, like, Ben Shapiro doesn't even adhere to, like, the masculine, traditional masculine standards that he so boldly uh, puts forth. Like, Hassan had a tweet that encapsulated it pretty good. He was like, Ben, if if we are both men, if we are both considered men and I am, like... Uh, a foot taller than you, more muscular, uh, hairy, so on, so forth. You can't even grow a full beard. If we're both considered men, then I think there is, you know, a spectrum and some, uh, not leniency, but there's a, there's a spectrum on what is considered men, right? And it just encapsulates it so well, because he doesn't even adhere to his own traditional masculine standards. What's up, Day25? Just woke up from a nap. Did you like my comment under? Yeah, you're a, you're a rat, bro. Ben Shapiro is a short queen. So true. Wait. I need opinions on those of you that like ramen or make ramen. I need I need comments on my ramen. Well, I know Phoenix already saw it clearly, but does this not look fire? He's actually rank one nerd and people love him. Yeah, it's because he's such a pseudo-intellectual. Because people think that because he speaks fast and, like, uses, like, pseudo-intellectual logical fallacies, they think that, like, oh, he, he's, like, a way to in intellectualize their bigoted viewpoints. Hi, Cooter. Ben Shapiro is the type of man that said, I... Our pussies aren't supposed to be wet. Does that not look gas? Okay. It's cheesy ramen with pork and there's an egg. There's an egg under it. And that's sriracha. That's sriracha and spring onion on top. So good. I love I love a good spicy ramen. Shalee's the opposite. When I made it for her, I made it with zero spice because she's a fucking white dork. I think Pokemon Black and White is the best Pokemon, in my opinion. Ben Shapiro. <laughs> Remember? Dude, he had a tweet where he was like, my daughter actually went into my wife's room. And then he, like, deleted it because people were like, what do you mean your wife's room? <laughs> Dude, I would. I would, if I could, I would make all of you ramen. I'm telling you. Don't just take my word for it. Don't just take Shalee's word for it. Dude, I made I made King Luke and B-Cam both ramen in Boston. And Brayden literally said, like, I wish I could have six bowls of this. So I'm, I'm just saying, it, it's past the test. I make some good ramen. I mean, it's not like it's really difficult to make. It's not, but I make it good. Especially if you like spicy. My signature ramen is um, cheesy and spicy. That's what it's all about. What is that from? Boy, this is so freaking tough. Freaking tough. Yes. Pokemon Black. And actually, what's really cool about Pokemon Black and White is 
Pokemon Black 2 and White 2 are the only sequels that they've ever done. Getting ready for, for what? Sorry about the no lights, by the way. You know how it is. She's sleeping, and I'm not gonna turn the lights on. She has work tomorrow. I don't wanna. I don't want her sleep to be worse. So. Airport. Ooh, vacation or something. Yes, black two and white two are the only actual like mainline Pokemon games that are sequels. There's no other, there's no like actual sequels in Pokemon, which is cool. I guess you could technically like consider, um, you could like technically consider Gen 2 a sequel, but like it's not really a sequel. No, yeah, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, like, a legit narrative sequel, like, Black 2 and White 2 take place in the future of Black black and White, and you get to see characters and, like, you know, the region changes and stuff, it's cool. New areas added and all that stuff. Okay. Um, let's just cue some threes while we talk and vibe because I'm already warmed up. Seventeen sixty one is what we're starting at. I would like to get to eighteen hundred. I'm gonna be slowly working on my twos rank too. It's actually really frustrating in these lobbies though. I just need to like ball chase and win in these like low 600 lobbies because it's driving me crazy I'm getting my ones ranked back up too wait why am I queuing let me go live on YouTube And if I win this game, I'm going to reward myself with a starry zero sugar, baby. The best reward there is. Zero sugar soda. <laughs> okay. I'm live on YouTube now. Want a cue or should I shoot myself with a gun? Huh. Oh, okay. Um, yeah, that's... Okay, yeah. Uh, what are you in twos right now? What's up, John Pork? How you doing? I see you in the YouTube chat. Hello, hello. Quite the decision there, Paps. Don't fuck up, I know. I forgot DS games download. Yeah, how big is the file? It should be pretty small. I can't wait for those tax cuts on my King Trump has planned for me. Bro, hold on. I have to look up how much money you need to make to even benefit from those tax cuts. I'm pretty sure I saw it was like $400,000 a year or something. A hundred? Yeah, it's so crazy. Dude, and it's such a small yeah, file, so and it's just so good. Small file, so much is packed into that game. It's just file, amazing. So much. 360K, is that what it is? How much money do you need to make to benefit from Trump tax cuts? Um, uh, 
Why can't I see the exact number? Bye, Orway. Sounds good. Be safe. Um, the top marginal tax rate was reduced to 37% from 39.6. The 37% th the tax rate applies to single filers with income over 609000 I never did the the multi train cuz so you couldn't make that no it's okay John Pork well, I'm happy we're here this right now I don't cuz but that would be a good idea Trump has shown interest in making task cuts by... fifteen, 20%. Why can't I find the exact number? It's actually pissed me off. Top 5% of taxpayers will get nearly half the benefit. Okay, wait. How much money is top... How much money is top 5% America? Yeah. $350,000. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Oh, so many, there's so many bootlickers that are, like, making, like, literally making poverty wages that are, like, defending shit like that and saying it's good. I love that a lot. When is Trump giving you a stimmy? Never. You gotta tell me what you think of the game. It's so good, Kez. By the way. Oh, uh, yeah, Dad, we can key, by the way. It's okay, John Pork. No worries. We can try. I was going to play threes, but we can we can play some twos. It'll be even more fun to play yourself, Kez. Just make sure you name all your moms. You got to be attached to them. Yes, John Pork? I'm bad. If I win the game, you'll donate 20. I don't believe you, but sounds good. Because I'm about to win this game easily. I should start doing midday streams. Hey, that's a really good idea. I've never heard that before. What's up, Michael? How are you? Yeah, hypothetically speaking, I wouldn't feel bad about pirating a single one of Nintendo's games. Hypothetically speaking. Nintendo is such like a dog shit anti-consumer company. I mean, almost every company is. But Nintendo is like extraordinarily bad about it.
Do I play War Thunder? No, I never have. I know a lot of people love it though. What even is it about? Why did you delete the message where you said if I win, you'll donate me $20? <laughs> Did you think deleting it would make me forget you said it? <laughs> it's not that you're gonna do it anyways, but it's funny. <laughs> bro, bro said if you win, I'll donate twenty dollars, and then after I scored, deleted the message. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Wait, strike down in, in what way? What do you mean? Wait, they, they're, so they're copy striking ROMs? Aren't ROMs like, like aren't ROMs technically, technically legal or whatever if you own the game? Or am I just making that up? Still water? Yeah, I've been I've been talking about still water and such. I've been talking about still water and mango 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 a lot. It's big news that people aren't talking about. Oh no! Ay yeah yeah. What's up, Eclipse? How are you? Oh yeah, that's a good i That's a good idea, John Pork. Yeah, I never thought about that, John Pork. That's a good idea. I'll look into that. They literally just make people's fun for no reason, dude. Didn't they like? And they barely even do big sales in game. The main, the main Mario ones are always like 40 even on sale. Like, I don't know. They're so anti, like, again, I understand that most companies are shitty ass anti-consumer, but like Nintendo is just like so blatant and over the top with it. Like, why do people rock with them so hard? Like genuinely, I don't get it. Hey, nothing wrong with a little brain rot, if you know what I mean. Nothing wrong with a little bit of brain rot and such. I need the new DLC brain rot. I haven't caught up. I haven't caught up for like a week. There's probably a new DLC patch I need to, I need to learn. What's the newest brain rot on the black market? Please go down. Okay, that's probably good enough. I believe in Dav. I believe in me. Slotted. Let's go. Good play. Good shit, good shit. Homer Simpson Uchiha. Wait, what? Like Naruto? What time is it for me? 3.30 a.m. So technically, not really Sunday morning, but more like Mon Sunday night, more like Monday morning, but who cares? What's up, Nicholas? How are you? 
I don't, I think skibbity funk. You should do a day in my life vlog. My life is very uninteresting. Trust me. They also delisted all the older Sonics so people could only play them if they bought the new $50 collection. Dude, like seriously, Kez, this is what I'm saying. Bro, if companies can just remove games off of Steam and they can just like get rid of digital shit, then if, if, if digital ownership is not real ownership, then pirating isn't theft. The Kludge comes in today. How excited are you to try out your, your Royal Kludge keyboard? Well, yeah, because it's, again, it's just capital. I'm going to oh, trying not to be woke, trying not to be woke. I can't, I can't let it happen. It's capitalistic profit seeking and corporate greed. Oh. Want a cute threes? No. Yeah, don't forget. Don't forget to like the stream. What is Sigma? Wait, really? You don't know what Sigma means? Doing pretty good. Only have only for a bit. Hey, it's okay. No worries. I don't plan on streaming super long either. But you know, I was like, you know what? I'm awake. I'm not tired. I might as well go live, right? Dude, shut the fuck up. That still finds a way into the back of my goddamn net. Fuck off. Is that keyboard gonna gonna revitalize your Valorant grind? I'm trolling. Very cool. What's up, Jacob? Skibbity, Sigma, and twerking. Dude. I literally... I I told this... I, I talked about this on stream when it happened, like, a month ago. But I was going for my... I was going for my daily walk. Actually, I don't know if I talked about it on stream. I talked about it in Discord, though. I was going for my, my walk that I usually do. You know, I, I walk... I try to walk, like, two, three miles a day. And, um, some of the people in the neighborhood have kids, obviously. And I don't know, the kids were like six, seven years old, maybe. I don't know. They're little kids. And the, so one of the kids on one of the houses on the street was talking to another kid on the house on the other side of the street. And I'm not joking. Again, there's a, they're like six years old, maybe seven. I don't fucking know. Young, young kids. And the little girl was staring at the little boy because I think she wanted to play with them because they were like riding bikes and stuff. And I heard the little boy say to the little girl, he said like, what the, what the Sigma? Why are you staring at me like that? I literally couldn't believe my fucking ears. I, I cannot believe that brain rot has seeped to kids that are, like, actually in, like, first grade. I literally, dude, I'm not joking. I, I thought, I thought I was hallucinating. To actually hear a fucking, like, five-year-old tell another five-year-old what the Sigma, I was dumbfounded. That was the worst day of my life. Is this is what it's like to get old. That's literally the main target. Six year old? I thought it, I thought it was like teenager shit. I didn't know it was literally like fucking fetus shit. Good lord. Skibbity brain rot has gone too far. F 
from Roblox. That's what it is. We need to ban Roblox. Once we ban Roblox, Skibbity Brain Rot Riz will go away. Trust me. Hi, by the way, Scopes. Demo? Damn. Taking? Of course he turns on that. What a psychopath. Okay. Oh, I should have just doubled it. Wait, I've just realized I won my last game and I did not grab my Starry Zero Sugar Soda. All right, now I'm pissed. You guys suck, bro. Fuck me. What's up, Carlo? I like my lead drippy, bro. Wait, so you are tapped into brain rot. That's a really weird thing to say, Dracula. Don't tell strangers that. It's really strange. Why am I staring at kids? Um, <laughs> am I supposed to fucking block my my vision and ears when I'm just walking down the street? Not even down the street, in my neighborhood. What the fuck? Motherfuckers are make anything weird. Wait, Nicholas is kind of spitting. If you're here and you want to help support the channel, I would appreciate if y'all dropped a like and a sub. Both of those things would be pretty freaking cool. Don't forget. Oh, hi. Hi, Phoebe. I figured. Skibbity toilet is like ironically funny. Yes, it is. That's not very nice, Anna. What the hell? Oh, hello, Catless. I use a ten seven or a forty seventy Ti and um thirteen seven hundred. What's up, Jaden Beast? What's up, Barnyard Cannibal? Already subbed? I know, I know. I appreciate it. Thank you for those of you that are already subbed. For those of you that have already liked the stream. I appreciate it. Thank you. Dude, I haven't recovered. Ever since that, that session I played with Callus. I, I lost so many games. I dropped to like 1675 or something, and it's been a down, downfall. I use a 4070 Ti, yeah. Remember Wood? I do, yeah. You subbed and like? Thank you. Callus is always the problem. I'm just saying where the session started, where the where the L's started. Anu is actually such a little little instigator, huh? What's up, Daryl? How are you? I'm doing alright tonight. How you doing? No, I know. Yeah, I, yeah. That that session sucked. I'm not sitting here being like, "Cal is fucking thrill." I'm just saying I haven't recovered from that session. Daryl, like Brawl Stars, bro. You are not Post Malone. What? My day was okay. I didn't really do anything today. I hung out with my girlfriend. I made her some food. We went for a walk. Watched some anime. Um, nothing crazy. Just a nice little, nice little chill day. Ooh, Louis W. Um, I was gonna get Chipotle today, but then I decided I I was gonna make Shalee and I dinner instead. I made us that cheesy ramen I posted. 
Do I play sports? I used to play football. Real football. The pony dash? <laughs> and such a silly mechanic. Anu, Anu's in his toxic masculinity era. Yo, soup is washed. Thank you for the follow. Oh, speaking of that, by the way, y'all, if you are on YouTube and you prefer Twitch, I'm also live on Twitch. So, might be worth it to follow me there. We got music. It's the whole horizontal stream. Up to you. We're about to start a win streak right now, too. I hope you know that. Only wins from this point on in the stream. No more losses. I mean it. I'm going to put on a clinic. I just realized I didn't get my starry. Zero sugar soda again. I'm going to puke. I'm going to cry. That hurts. Hi, Tay. Not really. What's up, Simone? How are we? Dad bomb? Let's try. Demo, 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 demo. Uh oh. Oh. Trolling? Don't double that, you're scared. Yeah. Uh oh. All good. Plenty of time in the game. Not a great start, but this is what Rocket League's all about. Regaining. That scores those. Look at that. See? Already. Let's go. Bye, John Pork. Get some good sleep. Okay. My car did not want to cooperate with me there. Oh, that's probably a goal, huh? Demos, 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 demos. No, it's so unfortunate. Cringe ass. Nice. We seen if we get one more goal, free win. That was so laggy. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm just going for demos right now. <laughs> let's go, let's go, let's go. We got this, we got this. Hell yeah. Dude, I've never watched Gravity Falls. I gotta I think Gravity Falls might be the one of the next like flat like cartoons that I miss that I watch. 
that only does demos. It's okay. I go for demos enough on this account. I'm definitely like top 100 in the world for demos. Oh, maybe definitely is a little bit strong. Probably top 100 in the world for demos. That was a little bit awkward. Oh, nice shot. Okay. Bro, I don't like I don't want to play COD. I'd be wasting money. Yo, Nathan, thank you for the sub. You never watch Gravity Falls or SpongeBob? I think. I 100% think that, like, OG Spongebob is so worth watching. If you've never seen Spongebob, dude, watch, like, watch season one to season three, and then watch the movie, and you're good. You don't got to watch anything else. I'm not saying that there isn't, like, I'm not saying that there's zero good newer episodes of spongebob but like i think you would get a pretty full experience from from doing that like you don't need to watch anything else there's just way too many stinkers for me to recommend like other spongebob stuff one to three in the movie and you're good gravity falls i'm pretty sure is really short if, if I remember correctly. Sometimes it's people that like look through the code, Callus. SpongeBob is pure brain rot. I feel like maybe new SpongeBob is brain rot. I feel like I genuinely feel like the classic seasons of Spongebob actually had some like really good and funny, funny like gags and bits. Is that a hashtag callous peak? I need, to, I need to head home, I need to head home. Spawn, 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 spawn. Nice. Let's go, Dab. Ice up. Ice up. Okay, demo time. No, I wish I stole that boost. Keep this pressure, we got it. Uh oh. Nice. <laughs> Dude, I, I we're one demo away from winning. I will get it. Another one. Got the bump. Dab shoots those. And T. Need that mid boost. I definitely didn't just miss it. Oh. I could have got a really good 50 on that. 50 on this. One demo away. Spawn. Oh my god. Wait, open. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Hell yeah. What's up, Icy Play? It's, up, it's going okay. We're just vibing. There we go, see? I said we weren't going to lose anymore, and we make, an, we make a comeback off the rip. 
that's what it's all about. Hey, we have 14 likes on YouTube right now. If we get to 20 likes, I'll gift out five free memberships. If we get 20 likes, I'll give out five free memberships. And, um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe, too. But I'll gift out the memberships anyways. I don't, well, no, I don't think you need to be sub to get a membership. I don't know, though. I don't think you do, though. What the hell? Check out, not sponsored. Zero sugar starry, baby. Hell yeah. Am I bouncing? Um, I could be persuaded into enjoying some Benjamin if other people are. You said 20 likes and I'd floss? Um, I actually floss every day. Wait, did we get it? All right, let's do it. Let's gift out five memberships. All right. Who gets them? Hey, it's me, Goku! Jeremiah, Wills, Jude Elias, Tricapria, and Ahmed. Let's go! Hey, it's me, Goku! Hey, it's me, Goku. It's Sierra Mist, basically. Yes, it is. It's like revamped. Hey, Starry me, tastes Goku. almost exactly like Sprite. Same shit. Hey, it's me, Goku. It's okay. Hey, it's I still have right. I still have five more gifted ones for this month, so. Astro Fox, thank you for the follow on Twitch. That hey, reminds me. me Goku. I know I was just talking about liking and subbing on YouTube, but hey, if you're on YouTube and you like Twitch, I'm also live on Twitch. Feel free to pop over there and drop a follow hey, like me, Astro Goku. Fox. If Ice Spice drinks it, I'm in. Does she? Wait, Louie, did you say that you're penjaminning? Paps hates gay people? What the hell? I do hate myself, I guess, kind of. Hey, it's me, Goku! Yo, Tay. What the hell? Hey, so not only did I give out the five free memberships... Hey, Tay then gifts a membership herself. Thank you so much, Tay. What the hell? Did you just want to hear, hey, it's me, Goku, one more time? Hey, it's me, Goku. Oh, John Pork. He was just here. You wanted to be nice? Hey, well, you are very nice. I appreciate you. Thank you. You're in all your for a cheers. I'll be engaging in a fat fucking cone in a sec. All right, all right. Ready? We're waiting on Louie. Tell me when you're good, Louie. And I'm good. Nicholas is good. Dab, you down? Dab, you down You down for a Ripski after this game, probably? Inglis or Span Spanwa blood? What? Huh? It's okay. You have a whole game. No pressure. No pressure. You're not good at the game? There's a lot you can say about me, but like, relatively speaking, I'm pretty good at the game. There's a lot you can say, though. You're down for rip? Hey, let's go. I don't know this person. Do I? Should I? Maybe they're being nice. I don't know. I feel like they're trying to troll, but could be someone being nice. I don't know. I don't recognize this name. Oh, my God. I'm throwing. Yikes. Licks. I don't know this person. Maybe they're just being nice. Maybe I do suck. You know what? I just said 
I just said I don't suck, but maybe you are right. Maybe I do fucking suck. <laughs> After that last goal, you know, I I think I agree with you. Spawn for me? Get in there. Nice try. It's all good. This is literally just like last game. Bad start, but we'll regain. Last game was an 0-2 comeback as well. Gotta keep your head. Gotta keep your head. Cannabis enjoyers, we will be taking a... Ripperoni after this game. If you'd like to join, prepare yourself. Nice. Those who know Gimpu. What was your first username like ever? Gim. Okay. Go next. 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 It apparently just doesn't affect me. What does it? Hello, fellow she slash they. I think it is Kim. I blinked and then scored three. <laughs> it's okay. That game never happened. That game never happened. That game never happened at all. No losses starts now. Wait, really? Are you sure? I bet you just haven't been inhaling right. A lot of people do that. Ripski time. Honestly, we're, we're going to be rejuvenated after the rip scheme. Anyone else like kissing men and women and non-binary people? Just me? No, not just you. Pop on Black Ops like, no, Call of Duty. The same shit every... Call of Duty is literally the sports games of shooters, bro. Oh, I remember that one, Gim. You took five drops of concentrate, like a tincture? Maybe, maybe tinctures are like edibles, whatever. Maybe, maybe you gotta just uh, take a good old fashioned like wrong bip or whatever. I'm ready when you're ready. All right, everyone, everyone, cheers. Uh, Everyone have a good rip, and hopefully this leads us to more Ws. Cheers. Blinking it is stupid. No. No, I'm not blinking it. No. No. Cheers, mate. Every time I see that emote, I always think of that guy saying, Come on, England, score some fucking goals. Yes, it's just trolling shit, eh? Hey?
It, it's nothing. It's nothing serious. Dude, Gim should stream his shiny Pokemon hunt on God. No, I'm doing okay. It's just like, I thought it was like a common thing for people to have Sunday night blues. Is that not like a thing? I thought it was just like a expression. I'm chilling. I'm okay. No worries. I had a pretty, pretty decent day today. If you're not if you're not in my Discord, you should join. But keep in mind, it is an 18 plus Discord. But if you're not in there, you should join. It's pretty awesome. People people always talking in there. People hang out in VC. We watch movies occasionally. It's pretty epic. It's a pretty epic Discord. I'm amazing. Oh, what the? Joseph, thanks for the sub. Oh. Yeah, people are just really big pieces of shit. It's really sad the people that take, like, enjoyment and stuff like that. Uh, Tay. You have to make a Discord? It's just for, you know, you don't gotta go out of your way to be doing all that if you don't want to. Just, you know, a lot of people have Discord already. It's just, it's just a way to, like, stay connected with me and the community when I'm not live. I'm always chatting in there. No VC or ever. That's not true. It's not Xylo, no. I don't think Xylo like plays Rocket League almost ever, if I recall correctly. Are y'all gonna play COD together? That's so cool. <laughs> What's my day been like? You talking to me, Nicholas? I got locked in, I think so. Now we're cooking. Your day was shit. Why? Get in there. Get in there. That's in. Wait, what? How did you steal that, you piece of shit? What the fuck? You little rat. What a fucking rat. Get a W stream, hell yeah. Hey, you know, I've been known to tune into the 1111 Louis broadcast from time to time. Also, is your name... Are you? Did you just join the Clash of Clans, Louis? Is that who joined? Okay. Why the fuck is your name not like? Why didn't you just have the same name? <laughs> I was confused at first. Hi, Rath. How are you? Whoa. 
I can't get to that. Nice. I mean, it's not like you can fully control what your what your parents buy. I your parents don't strike me as the type of people that would respect your wishes to not go somewhere if you said this is on a boycott list. They would be the type to like buy more actually. Like they they would buy five thousand dollars. schedule you got socks and a flannel too um that's disappointing pony do you see the pony it's back there it's just dark Shli is sleeping so I didn't turn the lights on Yeah, Astro Fox. This is a pretty D-Gen stream. Nah, I would never go to Chick-fil-A. They could literally have the best chicken in the world and I would never support them. They're also so overrated. Popeyes is better. Dave's hot chicken is better too. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna dox and leak Louie. That's what I'm saying. Cheers. You're late to the party. You're late to the party, but cheers. Nah, like I said, Chick-fil-A could have the tastiest fucking food in the world, literally like number one, and I still would never support them. Not throwing, you know, nobody take it personally. But in a case like that, I am not going to put my taste buds over my morals. What a dab, dude. The dab missed like an open eye. I didn't even notice. Controversial chicken. I mean, Chick-fil-A, like, is very, like, religious-coded and very openly donates to LGBT, like, anti-LGBTQ campaigns and legislation and shit. So it's like... I don't know. Why would I ever personally want to support that in any way? That's how I look at it. That goes that goes for any of the 
That goes for any of the companies or fast food or anything on the BDS boycott list for Palestine. As soon as I, as soon as I knew that list existed, I've I've adhered to it for the last over a year now. It's like Domino's is on the boycott list. They were my favorite pizza. I love Domino's, but I have not gone back there since. Because again, I'm not going to put my taste bud over my morals. And I could easily get... Every time I, I get pizza, I just go to like a local place that's really good. I haven't given Starbucks any money either. That in? Nice. Nah, I'm I'm into Pokemon, but not the card game, unfortunately. You gave up fried chicken. Chick-fil-A got a ton of queer employees though, so. There's a lot of there's a lot of black cops. Does that mean cops aren't doing like systemic racism and beating up black people at a higher rate than white people? No, right? Nice. Fuck Starbucks. That's what I'm saying, bro. Fuck Starbucks. Starbucks coffee is so mid and it's so overpriced. I'm a I'm a New Englander, so I got uh I got Duncan over here. Dude, there like if you ever feel the need to go to Starbucks, just like make your own coffee. And if you don't like making your own coffee or whatever, um go to like a local coffee place. Local coffee places are usually gonna be like at most the same price as Starbucks and they'll be better almost guaranteed hi Zylo I just played you a couple twos games ago except you changed your name to Zyro and it said like Zyro is lost I don't know why you changed the L to an R, but GG, pretty sure I kicked your ass. Hey, GG, pretty sure I won pretty bad. GG though, was fun. That's brutal. Yeah, dude, the $6 Dunkin' meal deal is actually a really good deal. I'm usually not a fan of Dunkin' food, but I think $6 for a medium coffee, a bacon, egg, and cheese, and hash browns, that's a pretty good deal. I can't hate on that. With how fucking expensive everything is, I always appreciate a good deal when it comes to food. Hi, Hannah. Excuse me, Monster Man. Go in, please. <laughs> Yay! Israel Stallion? Is your name ironic or something?
Tim Hortons is like Starbucks, but better. As long as it's not on the fucking boycott list, I don't give a shit. The only company that is on the boycott list that I still won't go to, companies are like Chick-fil-A, Starbucks. Fuck them. Any advice for zero mechanical players to climb? Honestly, I feel like I don't, I have decent mechanics, but I don't really use them that much. So just watch me. What's up, Vlad? I feel like I tend to play smart for the most part. Not all the time, but. What's up, Jaden? Hi again. Tim Hortons is hella pro Israel, sadly. Wait, really? Wait, how? Mike, who's my kryptonite to play against? Bias RL. Those hashtag those who know. Dos Uno. They're counting backwards. Yeah, my my community, especially on Twitch and Discord, YouTube is different because it's still a pretty new community, but even there, I have a lot. I obviously am a LGBTQ uh, inclusive streamer community, all that stuff. So, you know, a lot of a lot of gamers that love Rocket League especially. You know, there is... I know a lot of people in the Rocket League scene that are queer, which is really cool. And even then, like, not even just Rocket League people, you know? Because I'd be talking about, like, politics and such from time to time, so... Gay Murs. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Gamers rise up. But yeah, I mean, I I want to foster an inclusive space. The only people, the only people I'm not inclusive of are those that are not inclusive themselves. That's my that's my motto when it comes to inclusivity. And yes, I understand that that's a paradox, but it's just how it is. No. Yeah, the paradox of tolerance. It's silly though, you know, like, yes, it's technically a paradox, but like, if you are, if people weren't exclusive, then you yourself if some if you're someone who is only exclusive of those who are not inclusive you would never have to be exclusive if the people who are not inclusive themselves didn't exist you know so the exclusivity only stems from others not being inclusive you can't have you can't have your exclusivity without their exclusivity Unfortunate. Those who mow? Contra points of Rocket League? <laughs> okay, that one's better. As much as I love Hassan. Still on those who mow. That's what they're saying in YouTube chat. That's my favorite song right now. Um, Slim Pickens by Sabrina Carpenter. Nah, Boo Man, Boo Man, I listened to it like a hundred times, so. 
It's out of the rotation for now. That song is so good. Describe or explain makes heat. I would have been sad if I missed that beast. No. Touch it, touch it. Yes. Huge. I need to lock in. I've been looking at chat too much in the middle of the game. I need to lock in and win this freaking game. Oh. Oh. I thought that was in. I just missed the corner boost. That hurts me. I love this song. Baking? Chapel Roan's up there, too, though. I mean... After midnight, Chapel Roan has been stuck in my head. Damn. Did he regain? Uh, I mean... Kinda, like a, not really, a little bit, I guess. I love Chapel Run. My top two artists right now are Sabrina Carpenter and Chapel Run. They're both close. I think Chapel Run's number one though. Chapel Run number one, Sabrina Carpenter, very close second. And then in no order, Baby Keem, Mac Miller, Tyler the Crater. That's my top five right now. What do we think about the top five? I'll say it again. In no order, Chapel Run, Sabrina Carpenter, Tyler the Crater, Baby Keem, Mac Miller. Valid or nah? Nice shot. Let's go. Good good play. I have plans this weekend. I won't say I didn't tell you this time. <laughs> Why did... Callus, that situation was so strange. Was Chapel Roan right? Friend said to say this. I don't know what it means. Yes, she absolutely was. And I love her even more for sticking to her convictions. Okay, ready? This is, this is the other song that I would um I would say is like tied for number one right now, not this song, the one that's next. I just queued it up. All right, Eminem. Yeah, Eminem was my favorite artist when I was like thirteen. Yeet, Yeet's not dude, like I I like Yeet. dude. I unironically like. Lil Pump's self-titled album. Unironically, it bangs. Like, I'm gonna be honest with you. Callus doing a Christino impression, I see. Who even is Tiffany Trump? That's so valid. And they tried to pull up the front of, like, their dad bought it again. That's crazy. 
Yes, I saw. I responded to you. Gurley is based. Who? Top three anime openings. That's so hard. I don't know. I have. I'm not. I'm not qualified enough on anime. Top five is W, especially the Mac Miller ad. Oh yeah. Rick Astley, Nicki Minaj. Oh wait, you rock with Baby Keem like that too, Tay? Arath, did you just fart? Tay, why are y'all farting in the YouTube stream? I rock with, uh, like, Dragon Ball Kai opening is so good. The Tokyo Ghoul opening is so good from, like, season one. Um... Oh, and the Mashal opening from season two is so good. I don't know, but like I'm not qualified enough on anime to like uh, that that bling blom blom bling blom blom bling blom blom blom. That was stuck in my head for like actually like a month straight. Really, Callus? Egghead opening? What the fuck is that? If MCAP Steve, yeah, um, mods, can we dox her? British person? Who's British? Who's British? Oh, yeah, wait. Eclipse is British. <laughs> I like how they tried to, like, <laughs> I mean, a dollar. Uh, no, please. <laughs> Don't beat me up. I gotta watch JoJo's. That's on my to-watch list. What's your fave game? Like a story game? Um, Pokemon Black and White. I gotta watch Don to Don. That's how you're supposed to say it, right? Don to Don. But like, I don't know, dude. Like, it's new. I have so many anime on my to watch list. I'm not trying to add new shit yet. I have so much stuff to watch. If I keep adding new anime, it's just gonna get more overwhelming. Shadows of the Col of Colossus, never played it. Watch Demon Slayer on LSD. Oh my god, that probably does look sick. Guarantee you drop Don to Don in one episode. Wait, really? Why? Is it... Phoebe, that is on my to-watch list as well. Dor... Dor... Dorori... Dororo? Dororo? That's on my to-watch... Wait, actually, yo, 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 yo. For those of you that are interested in anime... For those of you interested in anime, if you do exclamation point anime on Twitch or YouTube. There's a command that will pop up, a link that will pop up, and it's a link to uh, my analyst. And it has, it's updated as of today. And you can see all the anime I've watched, what I plan on watching, and what I've rated the anime I've watched. Cause I've, I've everything rated as well. Can it, you pest? Can it is such a white person phrase. What? Wait, what is the purpose of it? Hello? If what Dab is, if what Dab just said is accurate, what the fuck? What is the purpose of it? What games did I play growing up? Uh, Pokemon games, a lot of Pokemon games. Uh, Dragon Ball games. Um, you know FIFA. 
I used to be a, a big FIFA enjoyer. It doesn't happen, but nearly. What? Violet Evergarden was already teetering on the, I don't know if I want to continue this. Territory. That sounds a lot worse than Violet Evergarden. Nice. No, I've never played, I don't have Dragon Ball Sparking Zero, but I had Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku 1 and 2. I had Dragon Ball Budokai 1, 2, and 3. Like, I was a, I was a Dragon Ball gamer as a child. I have not played Bloody Roar. What is it? Elden Ring is a great game. I, I just beat it recently, like last month. I really enjoyed it. Elden Ring is for sure one of the favorite games that I've played in recent times. Absolutely. Definitely one of my favorite games ever. I really enjoyed my, my playthrough. Wait, Snub, is Sword Art Online that bad too? Damn. I think Sword Art Online's on my to watch list. Should I just take it off? I'd enjoy Sekiro. I've already had requests to play it. I plan on the future. Probably. I want to play more Souls Likes. Miss, 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 miss. I had a PS1, but there's probably so many games I played on PS1 that I just do not remember the name of. Cause I was like six years old, maybe. I was like five. I was like, I was barely had the umbil uh, umbilical cord detached. Any other Dragon Ball Budokai enjoyers? Like because of stuff like similar to what we're talking about, Snub, or just bad? You love Budokai? I played, dude, I played the shit out of Dragon Ball Legacy of Goku 2 on my Game Boy. Like, if we want to talk about the games that I grew up with, I, I think, you know, I think Dragon Ball games and Pokemon games are, are that. Depends, it depends, like, what age, what age, ages do you consider growing up with? Like, what's the cutoff? Because once I got in, like, Xbox 360 and shit, it's like... Pretty much all I played, but I'm pretty sure I was already like a teenager at that point. I think when I got an Xbox 360, I was like already 12 or 13. Oh yeah, Budokai Tenkaichi is just like a different style of fighter. I unfortunately never, I unfortunately never got to play Budokai Tenkaichi. Only Budokai. But I know a lot of people love Budokai Tenkaichi. Oh my god, I thought you were on goaling that.
No. Do I swear these? I don't. Got the worst first touch ever. Not even close. Get in there. Locking in, locking in, locking in. Shoot that. Score that. Oh, we lost. That is so painful. Jesus. What's up, Aru? How are you? One of the best games to grace the earth. Budokai 3 fan. Budokai 3 is so good. Professional football career, good ending. What? GG's? Oh, don't. Mm, GG's. Poster checked. Oh yeah, I, pl I played the fuck out of Xenophers one. I don't know. 70 bucks is steep for a new game. Name change? Okay. This is not better than bling, 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 bling bomb, by the way. <laughs> I should get every Neko Para volume. What's up? If I get Sparking Zero, I'll do some viewer battles. Don't count on it. I don't plan on getting it, but if I do, I would. I have no spoiler scopes. After this game, we can be at a checkpoint, all right? After this game, it's Blinkerton checkpoint time, all right? Benjamin enjoyers, Blinkerton enjoyers, whatever whatever your your method. We'll be taking another we'll be taking another trip after this game. Shall we? Okay. Did not expect him to just leave us. They, them are trying to silence me. <laughs> Hi, Echo. Hello. No way, bro. Fuck off. Hey, whatever your method is, get ready. Cat girl visual novel. Ooh, woo. I never heard of it. 
Actually, I feel like the name is feels familiar. Uh oh. Hey, you're devolving. Who requested Lavender Town theme? I mean, don't get me wrong, it goes hard, but. What's up, Spec? What are you changing it to, Gim? Feel nostalgic? Gim Shua 16? I'll change my Twitch name to Paps Hawk to a, it'll be awesome. What's up, Cryptics Res? How are you? Damn, bro. Hope you've been well. Those rotten, non-tax-paying cat girls. Are cat girls known for doing tax evasion? I didn't know. Thank you for thank you for informing me. I'm gonna be reporting my local cat girls to the IRS. Am I now? What MMR? Uh, sixteen thirty-two and twos right now. Considering I was like fifteen sixty at my lowest, I'll take it. We're moving back in the right direction, even though it's a pain in the ass. It's a goal. Be gay, do tax crimes? Not tax crimes, just crime. Fuck it. Is that in? Okay, back in it. Even the Joker was afraid of the IRS? Taxes? Nah, capitalism bad. Real shit. Real shit. You pay your taxes with bath water? On some Belle Delphine shit? All cat, all cat girls do is eat tuna, evade taxes, and lie. So real. You're so real for that. Girls go to heaven. <laughs> Y'all are so silly. Score that. Oh. I still believe we win this game. Right here, I'm gonna control. Okay. 
Psycho Chow. Exactly. We need we need to make government mandated tax uh cat girls. Oh wait. Ripsky time. I know, I know. I have bleach on my to watch list. I know, I know. I know. Blinkerton time, Blinkerton time. Let's do it. Let's get in there and do it. Actually, I'm going to take a bathroom break too. So let's take the Blinkerton and then I'll take a bathroom break. I'm going to be running an advertisement on Twitch. If you don't like ads, you could just get an ad blocker or subscribe. What's up, world, by the way? Did I say that already? Wait, is this cat girl slave labor? Wait, actually, you're right. Oh, my God. I didn't think about the ethics of government-mandated cat girls. Wow. There's, there's, there's layers to this. There's layers to this. I'm GC2 right now in, th in twos. And GC3 in threes. <clears throat> Anyways, blinker checkpoint. Cheers, everyone. There we go. All right. I am going to take a bathroom break and run an ad. Beer B. Okay, we are so back. Ohio Giat Rizzler. 
<sighs> I pissed. I pissed. Phantom tax ma I I fear I fear my chat gets more brain rot by the day. Wait, Dad, are you here? Cam Cam Barnard, is that bait? Sadly? Oh sorry. Is that bait is that a is that a bait chat? Um, all right, I got you right. I'll give you a good answer. <clears throat> Actually, I'm really excited to live under Donald Trump. Um, these, uh, these tax breaks I'm going to get are huge. I'm really excited to, um, really excited to benefit from them. Um, just really looking forward to a better economy and these, and these tax breaks that are coming to me, you know, as a rich person. Rip is hidden you? Not really, no. Just a backflip, unfortunately. On a serious note, Scopes, if I had friends that voted for Donald Trump, they wouldn't be my friends. <laughs> Just gonna be honest. <laughs> Keeping it a buck fifty. Perfect pass. You would sooner elect Frieza? Frieza racist as hell. Unless they get oiled up and shake it, they're not my friends. Like, I just, there is just no way that I could, I could be friends with people that voted for Orange Cheeto. Like, we're ideologically so different and just have like a completely different moral code. It just like wouldn't work. The only Takis I've ever had are the blue ones. Are they good? Are they like considered good? I, I like them. Look at that, see right back in the dab, no worries. There's no way I could vote for middle class family mascot. Wait, who's that? Is that Bernie? What the? Miss, miss, miss. I, I like blue taki. They had, they had a very strong, like, citrusy, like, lime flavor. I, I haven't had them for a while, but I like takis. I'm a fan of spicy stuff. Like, I know takis aren't, like, actually spicy, but, like, they're a spicy chip or whatever, hot chip. Piccolo would be great. So true.
Okay, yeah. Cam, Cam Barnard is, is full trolling, obviously. <laughs> save no wait does that have that nice and they get a clear here oh never mind he's trolling faking that's fine that's fine i won't over commit here with low boost that might be a goal yo Let's go. Look at that dab. See, I told you the rip wasn't hitting me. I did ass feel fine. Like, I feel like... No, I pace myself. Like, I feel like ever since I took my super long cannabis break, I just, like, I pace myself pretty well. I, like, don't overdo it. I like to stay at, like, a nice level and, like, be vibing and chilling. If I, you know, if I be taking too many Pensman rips, it, like, the feeling isn't even, like, that nice. I'm just, like, greening out. It's not fun. <laughs> L clip farm? Oh, shit, app. Alright, hold on. I gotta read some chats. Free run for president? Free run would be a great president. Itachi'd put the people first. True, but hear me out. Itachi isn't a bad pick either. Ka Kamala would have been pretty solid. Something needed to change more than her getting elected. I, I, mean, I don't think Kamala would have been solid. I think Kamala would have been business as usual, if not worse. She was more right-wing than Biden on multiple issues. I, I think... Kamala would have just been another step on the descent into fascism. Full-blown fascism. So rallying. I think people should be allowed to vote and choose who they believe in without having to fear losing loved ones over wanting a better economy. Okay, yeah, no, that's fucking stupid. You're obviously a Trump voter. That's why you're saying that. Um, if you are, If you are, you know, willing to vote for a guy who's, like, super anti-LGBTQ, super anti-immigrant, racist, like a convicted sexual abuser, alleged rapist and pedophile. If you're like okay with voting for that, like on all those basis, not to mention, I mean, he's done more wrong, but if you're willing to vote for that, then you are a, a bad person and I don't want anything to do with you. Trump is the first pro LGBTQ president. Bro, have you like been closing your eyes and blocking your ears? Are you just making up shit to believe? Trump literally can't fucking get himself to stop talking about transgender athletes. He's literally addicted to it. That's pretty sad, Scopes. <sighs> this guy's, this guy's is solved. Yeah, be also, better economy? For who, bro? For who? Fucking, are you rich, bro? Do you own a factory? Are you a fucking millionaire? He literally hosted a gay wedding at his house. Oh my god. Oh my god, I have, I literally have a black friend. How can I be racist? Um, literally I have a gay friend. I can't be homophobic. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> Trans women shouldn't compete in women's sports. Shut the fuck up. Trans women are women, so they should play in women's sports. 
You're just fucking pretending to care so you can be transphobic. You don't give a fuck about women's sports. All these people commenting on women's sports are the same motherfuckers that are like, oh, WNBA is so bad, lol. Men are so much better than women, lol. They don't give a fuck about women's sports. You gay? <laughs> I got Matt Walsh in chat. What is a woman? Uh, I think the most essential thing for people like this dude, Matt Walsh in his documentary literally had like a professor that st has been studying like gender, gender science and all that shit. Like literally break down exactly like uh, what is considered a woman, man, whatever, and how gender is complicated, so on, so forth, for like 10 minutes. And then Matt Walsh's response was just, what is a woman? You think trans people should get special rights for their courage? Okay, you're just full trolling. Get out of here. Identity politics, this. Identity politics, that. It's funny because conservatives are the ones that do identity politics more than anyone else now. You're okay with man beating, beating woman in fighting sports? This is what I mean. This is literally why the trans people in sports argument exists. It's literally a vehicle for transphobia. Because you have people like this fucking absolute bot calling trans, trans uh, athletes men. Like, it's literally why it exists. Trans women should be allowed in women's sports, but cis women should be allowed to use steroids to even the playing field. That's so fucking stupid. Trans women, after years of HRT, literally have hormone levels identical to biological women. You realize that you would literally be fucking doing the opposite, right? This dude is delusional. Saying, I feel like if you actually want to talk about trans people in sports, it's surprisingly complex. Of course it is. It's Of course it is, but it's not for these fucking bots. Saying America is a Christian nation is identity politics. Dude, it is, like, it is wild how interwoven, like, Christianity is in with so much shit. And people will act like it's... Like, separation of church and state does not exist for these fucking weirdos. Did you hear a Charlie Kirk special? No, sorry. Matt Walsh. Witch issues? What? Okay, Scopes. Bye. Wait. Astro Fox, true. Wait, you're actually so right, Gim. Yeah, Shapiro, Shapiro getting fucking owned in the marketplace of ideas by that trans guy was awesome. Why are there more trans women than trans men? What? Yeah, the in the Olympics, Phoebe. It it dude, it always conservative people literally always like to con conveniently forget the existence of trans men, or they just they just like don't care. They like, I don't even know. Like a lot of people who are transphobic, like I I genuinely think like straight up forget that trans men exist. Okay, let's get back to playing. Name a car for an edit. Um, Chevy S10. Oh, okay. Hi, Dav. You ready to go? Bye, Sequel. Caffeine headache. Yeah, fuck caffeine headaches. Enjoy your shower. Bud, just because the hormone levels are the same does not mean they suddenly become smaller and more frail. The bones will not suddenly shrink, and the muscles are another discussion. 
Bro, it's so funny when people like this try to make like these fucking pseudoscience arguments talking about bones and shit. Next time you get a thousand points, staff, I'll give you a little pat on the head. You're trying to give like this pseudo scientific argument about bones and shit. Like we're talking about trans athletes. Not okay. This is besides the point, but we're already talking about like freaking like 0.0001% of the population. It's like actually kind of insane. For and second, your claims about like performances still being enhanced. Like, do you think like trans women are like super athletes or some shit? Bro. A trans woman literally complete, competed in the Olympics for weightlifting, and she did so bad, she didn't even place. So how do you square that in your head? Like, if if trans women by default are like these stronger beast athletes that are just so much better than cis women, then how come in a competition like weightlifting, which supposedly would be, you know, where where a, a trans woman who's really a man and so strong would do the best, why did she not even place? I have no answer. Did you type that in the middle of me answering? Did you type that in the middle of me answering or what? Just a simple question. I would love to know. You're asking... David gave you an answer, by the way. No, in the middle of me rambling. Oh, okay. So, when you actually look up, like, the actual peer-reviewed studies and shit, they're medically on trans people's sides. And, like, especially the study in sports, there's very there's not enough studies done. There needs to be more. But the, the actual peer-reviewed valid studies that have been done are on the side of trans people not having a statistical advantage. You understand that, right? Like actual science and medicine and, and studies are not on your side. Like you're saying I'm just rambling and have no answer, but your opinion directly goes against what is currently known. Like your opinion is literally, the men are stronger and better than woman and trans women are men so that means they must be better that's literally your argument and you're acting like i have no answer or something That is such a that is such an insane fucking thing to say. Literally no knowledge on the situation. No 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 like literally no knowledge on the situation at all. <laughs> and you just making shit up. Um I don't know. I think this story that I made up in my head sounds right. If she actually tried, she would have won for sure. Like, how fucking stupid can you be, genuinely? Wait, that's actually right. Base Dragon Ball reference? What did you run into? Just some weirdos. I'm not gonna keep having this argument in the circle anyways. Trans women are women, so they should play in women's sports. The peer rev The studies... The studies and science that has been done to this point directly goes in favor of trans women not having a st st statistical advantage or whatever. And even, even if that was the case, it's not. Sports is literally all about having advantages and natural talent, so on and so forth. Are you going to fucking... Do, do you want to ban LeBron because he's too good? Do you want to ban Michael Phelps because he had like a genetic, uh, a genetic thing where he actually had less lactic acid buildup in his muscles? You're gonna ban Michael Phelps for having a genetic, genetic advantage or some shit? Like, come on, you're stupid. You don't give a fuck about women's sports. You're just a transphobic freak. 
and you hate trans people, so you're using trans people in sports as a vehicle for transphobia. Simple as. That's why the, that is literally why the whole talking point argument started. The, tran, the trans woman in sports was literally started by a conservative Republican think tank as a way to attack trans people. That's how the whole talking point and narrative started. Hello, Fallen. Do I score these? No. If I got more power, Dad would have had a stronger shot. Keep it up, keep it up, keep it up. I'll um I'll be going don't worry about YouTube chat by the way, y'all. I'll, I'll be going through and getting rid of the, the garbage after this game. Just ignore them. Up, Jaxie. Yeah, don't worry about it. Like I said, it's just YouTube chat. They got they baited me into a conversation for a little bit, but I'm not entertaining it anymore. Bro, that's just not for the woman that trained their ass off to compete against woman born woman. This meritocracy, this fairness argument is fucking stupid. Like, it is literally, this entire argument is based off meritocracy in sports. And how, oh, you know, this genetic ad like again you don't truly believe that genetic advantage bullshit because you would be banning other people you're just creating your own stipulations and you're just making up pseudoscience bullshit because again because again all the there all the studies and peer reviewed actual like shit that has been done to this point is on the advantage or on the on the side of trans people showing that there's no like no statistical advantage to a like i hate having this fucking argument it's fucking so stupid in the first place because the people that are transphobic saying this shit don't have their their argument isn't based in like actual the actual studies behind it again it's literally just men better and stronger and more awesome than women and I think trans women are men, so they're they're better. That's what the whole argument is the basis of. Like the co the conversation is obviously so much more nuanced. Yet you have to deal with people that have like a fucking third graders understanding of biology. What kind of issues was Kamala conservative on? Oh, I got you. I got you. This has to be rage bait, right? I'm transphobic. This has got to be rage bait. Um, people supporting trans people? Yeah, this has got to be rage bait. Yes, I'm the one that's in denial of reality. My, my talking points and my, what I'm saying is based on actual scientific studies. You realize that it's, the, it's flipped, right? You are denying reality in studies and science. I'm because I'm talking about those studies and you are doing the opposite. You understand that, right? Like you are projecting and coping.
they are stronger has nothing to do with how you feel. Again, you're coping, not based in science, not based in studies. You are coping and just, that's it, really. Do you play sports? Have you did you understand managers better? If we're arguing about who is typically stronger, it's men. Yes, that's not an argument. I don't think anyone's denying it, but that is a point that is entirely not relevant to the conversation. True, Phoebe. Okay, yeah, Cooper, I got you. So you don't support trans people. If there is no advantage, why not have biological-born men compete versus trans men? They do. What? Hello? You just described something that literally happens. There's Look at that, dude. This is what I'm saying, bro. You literally have fucking pseudoscience. There's metabolic and phy physiognomic differences between men and women. That's your science. It's like you literally have people like fucking Ben Shapiro making, like, fucking made-up pseudoscience arguments. Men are more physically capable than women. Okay, trans women aren't fucking men. On a, God, I, I can't... I'm not, I'm not gonna get baited in this for so long. No such thing as transgenderism. Okay. All right. No more rabble-rousing. How is strength not relevant when you're talking about what sports? Trans women aren't men. Biologically, trans women are born as men. But trans women, especially... Like, these motherfuckers are so goddamn stupid. Do you really fucking think it's someone just goes, Oh, I'm a woman, and they let me in. You literally... There is there is literally regulations and rules to, that you have to adhere to. There's hormone levels and regulations. Like, are you fucking stupid? Like, you even have, look at someone like Ben Shapiro, who for his transphobic movie, where he tried to make a story about guys who pretend to be girls and play in a woman's league, he said he tried to make it a documentary, like, real, and, but then he was like, yeah, so you can't do that. Apparently there's a lot of regulations and rules in place. Even some, that, that dumb motherfucker... Physiognomic is not a word. Shocker. Just go to the gym, bro. See if any woman can lift as much as men. Yeah, it's so true, dude. Your, your random personal anecdote about the gym actually is what... That's the studies right there. The Olympic boxing mock, max in question. I mean, that's a great point if you want to talk about people that are fucking psychotic, considering they were literally calling a cis woman trans. Is there more trash I didn't... Uh... A 15-year-old boys team beat a professional women's soccer team one time, so therefore, this is an argument against trans people in my head somehow. Okay. Did I get rid of all the garbage? Tell me if I miss any garbage. Are you still here, Ace? Play more car soccer and shut the fuck up. Okay.
men will beat women. Okay, dude, oh my fucking God. If that's the case, then how come trans people aren't fucking dominating sports? Like, this argument that trans women are these fucking super athletes that would always beat cis women and they're just so much better and, you know, physical and fan, blah, blah. Then why isn't it happening, bro? Like, like you put, like people point to like fucking specific examples that happen sometimes. Cause of course, if trans women are competing, they're going to win sometimes, obviously. But people will point to a, to a, to a situation where a trans person wins, but then they'll ignore the fucking 10 times they lost, bro. Like, you're just... You're just fucking hyper-fixating and hyper-focusing on points to try to prove your point that isn't true. It is a dumb argument. I hate it. I don't want to have it anymore. That is true. Of course they don't know what HRT is, Phoebe. A lot of people think their opinion matters. Their Olympics is definitely goofy for all that stuff. Like, just play sports. Volume. Not enough people in those sports. What do you mean? What is that a response to? It's okay. I, Astro Fox. I just banned, like, freaking 25 people. I'd love Sword Art Online. I've heard there's some pretty interesting stuff in there. Twink Motorsports? Crazy. Hi. It's okay. Talk about trans people even for a second, and you have the transphobic freaks coming out of the shadows. Okay. Policies, policies that Kamala shifted right on was immigration policy, the border wall. Um, she couldn't even give a clear answer if she, like, supported trans people and shit, talking about how we should follow the law, um, her full, I mean, she didn't shift right on Israel. She just always supported Israel and full-throated whatever, which is obviously bad, not properly acknowledging the genocide. Um, she shifted right on, she basically was a Republican that supported abortion rights. That is her policies besides abortion are virtually indistinguishable from most republicans and that's why she lost people said why am i going to vote for a republican light when i can just vote for the actual republican what's up wink wankenstein She was less supportive than Biden was of Israel, as far as I remember. Yeah, but unfortunately, everything changed once they were on the fucking campaign trail, and it was the same bullshit all over again. But you're not wrong. Biden was a massive fucking Zionist. You're not wrong with that, obviously. You miss Lee. She's sleep. She's sleeping right now. Dab, you good to go? Yeah, Israel has the right to defend itself which is why they actually have the right to just continue to blow up babies and innocent people. Somehow that makes sense. Dems are the worst reactionaries. The amount of Democrats and liberals I've seen saying shit like they're done with the boycott, they're going back to Starbucks, they can't wait for Trump to turn Gaza into a parking lot. The amount of insane Democrats and liberals I've seen saying some of the most reactionary, disgusting shit, they're literally just as bad as, as MAGA. Obviously, not every liberal and Democrat, but a whole lot of them. I saw videos of, like, freaking hundreds of thousands of likes All right. that were echoing similar sentiment. Cam Talks, thanks for the follow on Twitch. I appreciate that. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Which is why I, I like, you're, I didn't think you were being toxic, which is why I settled down in a second and said, GG's. No worries, dude. GG's. Thanks for the sub, Oni. Do you think the UK and America... Wait, yeah, no, I agree. And that was really bad. And I wish it didn't happen and it shouldn't have happened. 
I agree with that. You understand that, right? I think America's like pretty evil. I agree, Astro Fox. I really, really, really do hope liberals and Democrats learn something from this massive fucking failure. If you want to win an election, how about you run on some popular policies? How about you run on shit that is widely accepted by the majority of Americans? People want healthcare. People want, dude, people want healthcare. People want like more social safety nets it's popular why do you think bernie sanders is so popular with so many people why do you think tim walls is was so popular in his state and still had a pretty favorable popper popular had a pretty favorable popularity rating Those policies win you elections. Those policies get people to support you. If you if you alienate the middle class and working class people, you're alienating the such a massive portion of your of your potential supporters. Like, bro, even if she wasn't going to do that shit, why the fuck wouldn't she just like lie? Like, politicians lie all the fucking time anyways. Why not lie about good shit? Like, why lie about the bad shit? You know? Yeah, Biden literally got lucky with COVID. But even then, dude, Biden's 2020 campaign, if you look at the shit that... Biden's 2020 campaign ran on compared to what Kamala's 2024 campaign ran on. It's like insane how much more right wing on issues like bro, Biden was running on like canceling student debt and shit like that. Kamala's running on fucking uh, we need to deport immigrants, actually. Like it's insane. In 2020, Kamala was calling the border wall racist, saying it was stupid and bad. 2024, Kamala saying, you know what? Maybe it's a pretty good idea. We actually need to deport every single illegal immigrant. Now. Swiftly. Oh, and also, um, we need the most lethal fighting force in the world. Because that's really good. That's not in insane rhetoric. Exclamation point, camera. Yeah. RFK Jr. is a psycho conspiracy theorist. Which is, again, there's a reason why RFK Jr. dropped out and endorsed Trump and shit. He's a conservative right-wing guy. <laughs> oh, dude. Tay. <laughs> literal brainless my politics are ass bro i will literally look you dead in the eye and tell you that i think you deserve to live a more meaningful life you deserve to get paid more you deserve to have health care education shelter food water you deserve to be live a better more fulfilled life and i don't think the circumstances of your birth should affect your quality of life it shouldn't affect your access to health care education or anything I think you should get paid more and be more, have a, again, have more dignity. I'll look you straight in the eye and tell you that and you'll tell me my politics are ass. I doubt it, unless you're insane. That will all happen with Trump. Okay, you're either trolling or actually delusional. Paps 2028, I would be assassinated immediately. LGBTQ communist. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm literally dead. 
the minute I, I like write in my application to run, I'm getting actually assassinated by the FBI and CIA. The red dot will appear on my head and my brain will be blown out expeditiously. I wouldn't be a threat. Not because a lot of stupid fucks in this country. We need to develop class consciousness and we need to develop it quick. There is no war but class war. Rich people, the bourgeois, don't care about you. All they care about is getting richer and lining their pockets, and they're doing it at your expense on the back of your labor. Never forget that. That's for Prez. I can't, I couldn't even run for like almost 10 years anyways. Seven years. I couldn't run till I'm 35, but we can have people that are like fucking barely senile in government still. That's awesome. God forbid we have a 28 year old in office, but <laughs> the 92 year old senator, we, we need her in there. You're just talking about dumb liberal shit. I love you. You're harmless. I'll keep you around, honestly. Do you want to be the stream pet? Isn't it true that our vaccines have potential side effects? Every medicine has. Dude, Advil has potential side effects. Fucking Tylenol. Any medicine that you could ever see has potential side effects. Every medicine. Having a 100% efficacy rating with no side effects is impossible. Depression doesn't exist. Ass, 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 assassins are fucking Astro Fox, real shit. Wait, do we want to take another Ripsky? Imagine calling commies liberal. I know. Dude, that's what I'm saying, though. Like, like you literally, these people don't know what they're talking about, dude. They don't even know what communism is. They don't know what socialism is. They People think, like, being a liberal means you're a fucking communist, bro. It's, it. The words are meaningless to some people. The first, dude, listen, listen, it, hold on. If you agree with me, the fact that the rich get richer, poor get poorer, it's true. It's, it's been true for a long time. Capitalism has been in this trend for a long time. If you agree with me, then like the only politics that will actually fix those things are left-wing politics. You know, you need you need to give people better social safety nets and stop this this unequitable wealth accumulation that rich people are doing on a, on a regular basis. Like fifty three percent or something, or like sixty percent of America's wealth is inherited. Um, people just have so much money that are um, considered like assets or whatever, not liquid wealth. So they just, they don't pay proper taxes on it. Like there's so many reasons as to why things are continuing to get worse. And right-wing poli right politics don't fix those things. They exacerbate those things. Cheers? Okay, let's go. Nicholas, I'm warming up the Benjamin. Dav, you good too to take a ripski? but it won't happen in this country, but it can happen. We just need, we need better education and we need, we need people, we need to like have actual, I mean, yeah, just education on to these topics and not propaganda, not like, not shit that isn't true. Okay. I'm already bored of our pet. Echo, you good? Anyone else? Anyone else want to join for the Ripski? Patriotism is when 
Actually, that's a pretty good example. I'll give you that, Phoebe. You're out right now? Fair enough. You left your pen somewhere? No! All right, well, cheer. Anyone partaken? Cheers. Okay. Another th wait, you got another thou, really? I didn't even notice. I was so autopilot. Would I learn fighting games with you? I don't have any fighting games. Well, the thing is, I think, I think the reason that that will never happen again is right-wing politics. There will always be a group of people to blame. And it, like, if things continue to go on the trend that they have been going on, a lot of people will say fascism is, fascism is already here, which, you know, I agree with. But it's only going to be a matter of time until we descend into full-blown fascism on some World War II Italy type shit. Like, fat. Like when when capitalism fails that is when fascism happens and capitalism has been continuing to fail time and time and time again for the majority of people in this country until that problem is fixed we will continue to slowly descend into fascism until it becomes full, full fascism if you look at history if you look if you look at what experts are saying like it's not it's it's not a secret. It's not a secret. It's it's something that can be predicted. I did too. I think anyone who thought who's against that is just like racist. I can't think of another reason, okay? watching a lot of CNN bro you will literally hear do you really think they're talking about the destruction of capitalism on CNN there is no fucking way you actually think that gayest goals ever what <laughs> this dude's actually 10. Who says that still? <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have jumped for that. My fault. Never punished. Hello, metal pipe. What is silence interrupted? He's out, he's out. I mean, yeah, Cal, are we surprised? Let's be real. Hi, by the way.
is good. No, I mean about fascism. I was, I was literally explaining how capitalism and fascism are interconnected. That was the whole point I was making. Astro Fox, you're also not, you're not wrong with that statement. You're pretty based. It's always nice to meet other like-minded based people. Nah, RFK is, nah, dude, I'm telling you, if you actually believe the shit I'm saying and, like, are using, like, theory and history, RFK is a conservative, conservative freak, bro. Like, he's, he endorsed Trump. He, like, even, he, even if he was a Democrat, just because someone's a Democrat doesn't mean they're not conservative still. Look at people like, I mean, look at Kamala's campaign. Look at people like, freaking, I don't know, like, Joe Manchin and shit. He's still he's still conservative. He's still like a a conspiracy theorist. He agrees with Donald Trump. Like that's again that's why he endorsed him. What gives you the impression that RFK doesn't genuinely care? Because vaccines are some of the most vaccine is one of the greatest inventions of modern history and has literally eradicated certain diseases vaccines are have been so fucking important to our survival and thriving as a race you understand that right vaccines are literally a fucking miracle um actually hitler was a socialist god people that say that are so stupid too project 2025 will get me a wife i promise <laughs> <laughs> he was correct RFK had a brain eat his worm and a capitalist at his core <laughs> Eric Adams ooh woo so is everyone then I have party I'd love I mean if we're being real like actual democratic like progressive leftist if you want to use that word people few and far between The grind's actually going really good today. I've only played twos to this point, but I don't know if you remember, but I had a free fall in 2v2. And at my lowest, I was down to 1560. And I've been playing, and I'm up to 1652. So, I mean, we're regaining the ranked points that we tossed. They won't listen, Astro Fox. You hear about El Salvador and what they done to stop gang violence? Wasn't Hitler? Yes, it was a joke. Hitler was not a socialist. Hitler was an authoritarian uh, capitalist, obviously. Again, just like Italy, I was, I was um, explaining Italy too. Italy was a capitalist, fascist, like their, their descent into fascism was capitalism failing. Again, connecting capitalism and fascism. I think they're both fucking horrible and uh, whatever. I hate Trump. I think he's horrible and I think people will continue to suffer. <clears throat> exactly, Astro. Yeah. Yeah, that did happen, Cal. We don't talk about that. That was really embarrassing. But but uh I'm still I'm 17, 61, and 3, so I'm happy with that. And we're moving back up in twos, so. Theory stream win. <laughs> Dude, nah, I Talk enough about politics and get enough weirdos. What the hell? Thank you for the five dollar super chat, GG ho, and thank you for the five dollar Australian. Is that what it is Australian bucks? Phoebe, what the hell? Y'all are too nice. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you.
That's why we got to get rid of the two-party system. The two-party system is horrible and not does not represent constituents and the people. The, our two-party system represents corporations and lobbyists and corporate interests. Damn. Australian bucks. What's a suck flex? You just, you're flexing your channel points on Twitch. Didn't Hitler nationalize all private ownership? No. Totally agree. It was good in 1895. What was good in 1895? Capitalism? Capitalism was good in 1895 when uh, women and black people couldn't vote. And I just every, I mean, I could go on and on. Capitalism was not good then. Karl Marx was writing communist shit at, in like 1860s, bro. Capitalism has been bad for a long time. Yeah. That's what people apparently tried to do this time around, Astro Fox. And instead of going more left, they went fucking more right. So stupid. Bro, imagine the world if Bernie Sanders actually, like, was able to run in, like, 2016. And he won. You're beast and Dav. I'll take it. You're cooking. You're about to get a GC3. This is like one of our best sessions we ever had, probably. You think about that wet dream a lot? Didn't Kamala, Kamala get more campaign than Trump plus more money from defense contractors? Yeah, I, get, I agree. They both fucking suck. I wish Bernie did win. If Bernie won in 2016, that would have been so cool. You're a communist? Yeah. Nah. If you have to say sucks for the innocence, but that's how it is, that exactly just shows why it's bad. Bad, bad, bad. No low tier duster. Oh. Yeah, Bernie winning would have been pretty cool. The same way you deal again on the kind of Yes. Saf failure is spitting. Kill Reagan. <laughs> Did, did you just get activated as a fucking sleeper agent? <laughs> Holy shit, you must have said something to activate Phoebe. Bernie still wouldn't have had a chance because he's pro-Israel. Well, I, f I, think you're f I think you're forgetting that we're talking about 2016, 2020 type shit. Like, obviously, Israel has been committing these atrocities for a long time, but it wasn't top of mind. It was not top of mind like it is now and has been for the last 13 months since Israel ramped up the genocide. I feel like politically is the the... Being a, a Zionist and Israel supporter pre-October 7th was 
a a lot smaller part of i mean not i mean not i think i know that israel and the genocide it's committing was a lot smaller part of people's minds especially when we're talking about politics you know you we weren't having politicians in 2016 make it a main point that they're gonna you know full-throated support israel forever like freaking every every campaign or every interview you know Hi, Lemmy. How are you? I mean, if, again, if your solution in includes harming innocents, it's not a good solution. Like, if, you're, if your solution is intentionally harming innocence it's not a good solution it's like it's like the example i talk about sometimes if there was if there was a bank robber holding up a bank with hostages at gunpoint and you're thinking to yourself, oh, one of the solutions here to get rid of that gunman and stop him from robbing and whatever. Evil Platypus 97, tier 1, just subscribed for nine months. Happy nine month anniversary. They, hands, paps. Thank you for the sub, Platypus. I appreciate you. Poopy pants, paps. I'll never escape that, huh? Thank you so much for the sub. I appreciate you. But what was I saying? If your solution to, you know, getting rid of the gunman and him robbing the bank, so on and so forth, is to, you know, blow up the bank. And, you know, you'd kill the gunman. He wouldn't rob anymore. Thus also killing the innocent people inside. That would be a bad... It's a solution. You, you would achieve what you wanted to achieve, right? But it's not a good solution, clearly. And that would go the same for stuff like that. Innocent people do not deserve collective punishment. It's the same shit with... I mean, again, if we want to bring it back to talking about Israel and Palestine... It's the same people acting like, oh, the uh, uh, Hamas, Hamas is so bad and evil and needs to be exterminated. And Palestinians, you know, whatever, they support Hamas. They deal with the consequences, blah, blah, blah. It's just collective punishment. Even, even if you think Hamas are these evil terrorists that need to be stopped, doing so and at the same time blowing up tens of thousands of innocent people and murdering them that is a bad solution collective punishment is a war crime it's bad innocent people do not deserve to suffer for the actions of people that you perceive them to be connected to. Nice. Let's go, let's go. It's my turn to lock in, Dav. They're born into the gang lives. Again, this literally is some IDF type rhetoric. You can literally say the same thing about these, the IDF soldiers and Israelis saying, oh, Ter terrorist babies, terrorist babies. We're blowing up terrorist babies. It's fine. They're going to grow up to be Hamas anyways. You realize that's the same type of shit, right? Oh, bye, Astro Fox. Have a good one. You got love bombed last night? What does that include? 
My bad, Dav. Free Hawk Tua. I think I said that already. I thought I was going to redirect that into my net. I can't lie. Miss, miss. Okay. I believe he trolled. Yeah. What a pass. Double that. Ah, I should have just went. Let's go. My turn to lock in, baby. What kind of conversation did you come into? I haven't been able to read all of it because I'm in the middle of gaming, but not a great one. So good, bro. I actually, I actually, this was my game, Dev. I got you. My turn. That was a genius kickoff. If we agree that the allies intentionally bond this to people, says Zizin is just doing the same thing. Do you think allies also committed genocide? A the allies absolutely committed war crimes, yes. Genocide? No. War crimes? Yes. Phoebe, so true. You're taking a realistic reproach? Wait, what the fuck, bro? Are you really trying to say that, like, these kids deserve to be harmed and incarcerated and whatever or killed because they're potentially born into parents who might be in a gang what the heck dude that's freaking messed up how are you saying that bro you're talking about kids you're talking what's up berserk oh okay oh let me don't say that what if it's good this is a banger by the way Paps is locked while discussing terrorism. Let's go. <laughs> if you raised around it about 90% of the would become a 10% make out of the situation. They just go up around. Okay. Even if you were right with those numbers, which you just fucking pulled out of your ass and aren't, there's obviously no actual basis behind them. Even if you were right with those numbers, you'd think it's okay to also kill the 10% of people that aren't. Is that like the argument you're trying to make? Let me, don't say that. I think it's going to go great. W, Tay, W songs. I'm not saying they deserve it. It is what it is. Bro, that is such, like, that is such apathetic rhetoric. What the fuck? Dude. That is such, that is, that is fucked up rhetoric, man. We're talking, we're talking about, like, how can you so flippantly talk about, like, real people? We're talking about humans. We're talking about, like, hu like, you're... Like, lives that are as valuable as yours. How can you so flippantly talk about people like that? Doesn't that, like, make you feel gross? Saying that from the outside looking in is obviously not a 
great take, Cole. You never said you liked it. You don't have to, dude. You said you never said you liked it, but you're saying it is how it is. How is that any different? Whether you like it or not, you're you're just accepting it and flippantly saying, "Oh, whatever. It is what it is." You don't have to like it for it to be evil. I'm struggling now. Devon Crush again, and this but she doesn't understand the planet. Damn, yeah, e-dating is, e -dating is really tough. Like, long-term distance relationship dating is very tough. I personally have never e-dated, but when it comes to long-term relationships, anything that you're having to travel, like, I don't know. It's just, they don't usually... met your gf off of oh yeah no i'm 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 not saying that like it's impossible but it's hard it's long distance relationship is hard e-dating type shit is hard like especially when you can't physically see with and be with the person you're just giving hope <laughs> Before you support someone, look them up on Human Rights Watch. That's a good idea. Evil is evil. What's Discord pedophilia like? What? Is that you like trying to be like transphobic? Do you hear Trump and Putin had a phone call? Yeah, aren't they like friends? Indiana is not El Salvador. True. Everyone thinks getting gangs off the street is good. The way that the way that they went about it is horrible and cruel. Mm-hmm. Nah, nah, nah. The reason pe dude, poverty is a capitalist systemic hey, issue. Goku. To if to actually solve these things, you have to solve them at the root. You have to address the reasons why these things are happening. You need like if you are trying to address something like poverty without looking at education and shelter and and food and water and all these things that make a like I don't know make a life better like a things that should every human should have access to. All of these things are connected. Like, if, you, if you're having to struggle almost every day of your life, you're not going to be able to... You don't have access to these things that other people have access to just because of where they're born or who they're born to. The circumstances of your birth should not affect the quality of your life. Like, no matter who you are, you should have access to education, Healthcare, food, water, shelter, all these things that a human needs to survive. Uh -huh. How you, who you're born to should not affect that. And in order to fix that, you have to address those issues and implement things to fix that. It's all connected. In intersectionality is so important when we're having these discussions. Thank you for the sub, by the way. I appreciate that. Pretty sure you joined the wrong time. Why? I'm not like yelling or anything i'm just i'm just talking i'm just talking playing some ranks 
off the Benjamin. Off the Benjamin talking about communism and intersectionality. I answered to you now? Yes, I was talking to you, Berserk. Lemmy, you're so right. Hi, Andy. Thank you for the follow. Welcome to Twitch. I believe what Cole was doing is called, like, victim blaming, no? Like... Being born into poverty and being born into these horrible situations. Like, yeah, of course, there's going to be examples of people making it out. Uh, you know, 1% of the time, whatever. Lift yourself up by your bootstraps, blah, blah, blah. What about the other 90% of people, 99% of people? They're just not doing good enough. Not trying hard enough, you know? it's That rhetoric serves to help no one. Do I like break-ins? What the hell? I love break-ins. I like hyper pop in general. It's actually going really good, Christina. Did you see what my rank was? Did you see what my rank was when I started? How are you doing? System of a down? That's a robot request. Do the rank commit? Oh, well, you can see it. Going good though. Bye, Wrath. Oh, you, you criticize capitalism, yet participate in it. Um, hypocrite much? Hypocrite, you're alive in a capitalist society and you're alive and living? Hypocrite much? You don't, you don't live in a... You don't live in the woods with a house made out of branches and sticks? Some real capitalist, uh, some real capitalist dissidents, huh? Why did Nightbots just say that? What the fuck? What the hell? Nightbot, what the fuck? I should have put that on target. There's a lot of commands that I just do not remember existing. Some of them were probably made, like, actually, like, five, six years ago. Oh, God, no, don't talk about that one. Hi, Katie. Huh? Hi. Go back to sleep. You still have, like, an hour. Breakin's 5G goes crazy. Command Ronnie. I'm surprised that doesn't exist, to be honest.
That's that. Wait, that W command is so fucked. Isn't most of the countries in in Africa due to political poverty? Yes. No. Literally, but not like it from intervention. Like Africa is the way it is because of intervention from other countries constantly fucking with Africa. Benjamin, I'm surprised some of these aren't commands. Blinker should be a command. Hold on. Hold on. Hell yeah. That's what's up. You're off to the stocks, okay? Have fun. Go to sleep? No, make me. Bitch. Sap seems pretty based. I don't know. I'm rocking with Saf. Maybe you guys just got off on the wrong foot, and maybe you... It's okay. What's up, Blinks? You just check out Shell's involvement in African politics. It's not even other countries only. I mean, no, true. You're you're right. Trust me. I know. Uh, I'm gonna be going to bed after this, so I'll probably I'll probably go to bed and stuff after she goes to work. I'm gonna help her take her stuff outside and stuff. I don't think so, maybe? No. Because... No, <laughs> Callus's commands are crazy. Get a haircut? Make me, bitch. You can't make me go to sleep. You can't make me get a haircut. All right. Dev, how many more games you in for? I've been winning like every game. All right, let's keep going then. I'll be I'll stream for like another hour ish. I'll probably I'll just hop off when she goes to work and stuff. If you do exclamation point commands, you can see all of them, Tay. True, Saf. I don't know, probably. I wouldn't be surprised to hear that. Bumble. Bumble be tuna. Let's see let's see what commands you find that you like. Yeah. 
you turn off that thing? Just hold your finger on the power button. Do I drive? Yeah. Like, like, do I have my license and shit? Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't planning on shaving my head or anything, so. Paps the goat. No, you. Tay says hi. Shalisa, uh... That video kind of scared you. Wait, what is that video? Oh. That. My hair is pretty, thank you. Hi, hello. Shalee says hi to everyone. I didn't remember that existed. I can't lie to you. Sappy. I have not heard this song. I wasn't queuing. Oh, that's embarrassing. Yeah, Saf's been a, a fax spitter since they've been here. What song is this? the fuck up Gim. <laughs> oh shit, Dab, you're 1720 now. Oh, Porter Robinson, okay. I like their music. I've heard I've heard multiple of their songs on stream now. I rock with it. spitting too. Saf has just been here for a little bit now, so I've seen them spitting consistently. That's a name I haven't seen for so long. Okay. Hey, if you're in the YouTube, by the way, I haven't said it for a long time. If you're on YouTube, don't forget to drop a like on the live stream. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Especially if you like what you see and you want to hang out more, feel free. I would appreciate it a lot. And if you like Twitch, I stream on Twitch too. I'm live there too. Yes, mother. Nice shot. Thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm live on Twitch too. There's music on Twitch and it's the full stream. And T? How about a demo? It sounds like a banger too. I should have just flipper said and shot it. Oops. Hi, Majid. Yes, what Fugu said. God, I love Fugu.
Miss. I suck. Eh? Don't mock me. Why you copying what I'm saying? How about you get over here and I punch you in the jaw? End game. Wait, really, Phoebe? Oh, W. Why is RFK bad? Because he's a conspiracy theory nut job. Who's just a conservative that endorsed Trump. Hey, right, let's go. Hell yeah. I appreciate you staying and watching, Oni. <laughs> I thought you were mocking me. I'm sorry. Do you want... What was that? <laughs> she's been awake for five minutes and she's already ripping ass over there. That's unbelievable. Fugu is never gonna let you live this shit down. I gotta listen to this. Porter Robinson. I'm gonna check it out. Hi, Marty. Let's go. Where's my gas mask? That's what Fugu said. I even you as teasers. Hey, I want to listen to this. Smile, Porter Ronson. What? Do you want to kiss? Which conspiracy theory is he believing? I mean, specifically one of the major ones about vaccines, which is very bad rhetoric and dangerous and anti-science. It's just fear mongering about about modern medicine. I've been yapping like all all night slash morning. You're talking yourself out of a smooch. You're talking you're talking yourself out of a smooch over there. She said shut up and dribble. That's crazy. I mean, yeah, obviously America's politics influence a lot more than uh, a lot of people are, though, Tear Duster. A lot of people are. It's very fucking sad. Very true, Fugu. Dav. Why? What? I don't know if losing is in the version of the game I install. Yeah, we're cooking. I said I was playing with you, Dav, and Shalee, like, like simulated gagging scoffed how does that make you feel I know Shlee hates me it's okay damn that's tough that's a tough reality to live with Yo, Shlee, do you want to take a blinker before work? Why? You're such a pussy. Why not? Why won't you take a blinker before work, you little pussy? 
I'm literally I'm at work. I'm I'm at the office right now. I'm at the office. I'm having a good day at the office right now. We do need more movie nights. You appreciate the EU friendly streams. They happen pretty regularly. Oh. Cause I missed the shot. I didn't, it wasn't a moan. It was like a, okay. Didn't know when you woke up, there's gonna be a fucking peanut gallery behind me the whole rest of the stream. <laughs> That's what I'm saying, Fugu. She's such a little pussy. Oh, I don't want. Oh, I don't want to get high and do cannabis at work. Oh, I might get fired. Shut up. How about that? How about, how about you stop being a little baby? Maybe your bosses will appreciate how fucking sick you are. How about that? You're looking at it from the wrong lens. Though. My bosses smoke with me. I mean, I think a lot of people find that insane. I think there are people that voted for him that still find it insane. chat too much mid mid game the peanut gallery is distracting me who's the peanut gallery who the fuck do you think no not fugu you all i do is hear you yapping in my ears If I got that demo. Wait, maybe still? Maybe still? The double, the bump in the demo? Yeah. I am going to fight you. You understand? I'm going to come over there and I'm going to drop kick you in the clavicle. You understand that, right? Go back to sleep. I did answer you, Berserk. Yeah, I was just saying how e-dating and long-distance relationships are, are going to be tough. Today it's really tough, and I was just talking about that, I think, for a minute. Who's a better twerker, me or Shalee? Unfortunately, I have to give that one to Shalee, as much as it pains me to say. You are an NPC. You're a bot. <laughs> Fuck. What is wrong with you? Shalee isn't twerking. What's up, Felix? Honestly, Dab, if you want to be done after that, that might be a good game to end on, bro. That was points. But on the flip side, that being the game we lost means we didn't lose really like any points. Ooh, what's for lunch? Shut the fuck up. From from Canada, we'd love to see it. Well, to see what?
No, that is not the case, Bumblebee Tuna. He, RFK has spread vaccine mis and disinformation. I don't care. I played pretty insane, so I'm still fine. <laughs> okay. Sorry, Tay. Womp womp. What are we womp womping about? I did not yet finish RE2, but I plan on doing it 100% next stream, I swear. On God, next stream I finish RE2. First part was she's in... Oh, so yeah, I mean, if she's not interested, just move on. None you can do. Y'all didn't lose since I watched it. That was our first loss in a long time. Pasta with lentils? Ooh, okay. All right. Rod Wave album of the year. Pasta is always delicious. I'm probably going to have breakfast before I sleep. I'm getting hungry. Breakfast before I sleep is funny. <laughs> any, uh, any breakfast foods I should eat? Any suggestions? How can you move on like that? You just can't. Um, I mean, if someone, if you have feeling for someone, but they don't have feelings for you. You can't change that, right? So just, I don't know. Maybe just be friends with them. Pancakes? I'd have to make them, though. I don't really feel like... I don't really know if I feel like even making pancakes. I kind of want... So I might, like, low-key just have some cereal. I want something that's, like, pretty low-calorie. I understand it might like hurt to not have feelings or sorry for someone not to like reciprocate feelings, but you can't change it, you know, so you just gotta like move on in whatever fashion. Cereal is a classic. It's you just spoke in emotes to me. I love that. Mashed potato sandwich. What? Poached eggs. I don't know if I know how to like properly make poached eggs though. What's the proper way to to make poached eggs? You just like crack some. Do you crack eggs into like vinegar water? Is that what it is? Like, I've poached eggs before, but, like, not the right way. Like, not the way you're supposed to, you know? Oh, it's unlucky. You can't change your own feelings? That's yeah, true. I mean, obviously, that is part of it, but... If you feel like... If you feel like you... You can't change your feelings or whatever. Just, you know, just don't, just don't talk to them anymore. Just say, just like say for your own, you know, emotional well-being, mental health, whatever. Just say you can't talk anymore. That's valid, obviously. Did Dad get that? Massive, huge demo. Ew. What the fuck was I doing there?
Can you relax over there? <laughs> You're so lucky I have a I have a good noise gate on my mic. You could have taken this time to not have to do your stuff at work, by the way, because Kyle's not going to be in the bathroom for a while. Huh? Oh my god, shut up. I just got that around me. Not even close. Spawn, 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 spawn. No, if I got that beat, could have just had a nice 1v1. Feels bad. Feels bad. Stop shouting yourself out. Who shouted out Shali? Who did it? It was you? What the fuck? Of course it was you. Stop it! I just freaking spit. You made me so angry I spit when I talk. <laughs> I remember that stream. I remember. I was more interested in the subway surfers than your gameplay, I can't lie. Oh, now Fugu. This is how I shout out Shlee. <laughs> Fugu just said, this is how I shout out Shlee, and then they did a fart command. Oh, no, okay. Actually, just did one, too. Very cool. Great, great. Okay. Huh? I don't know. Actually, is wondering why you did... Horse fart command. <laughs> She's really curious about that one. <laughs> nice. Nice. That's an amazing bounce for me. And I choke it by going too slow and letting him challenge me. Ay ay ay. Good take. Grab these pads here. Hopefully give Dav some time to get boost and get back. Oh, beautiful. I did more than that. I gave time for Dav to get boost, get back, and put the ball in the back of the fucking net. Yeah, I gave him an open net. What the fuck? Huh? I'm gonna. Hold on, I gotta go beat the fuck out of someone.
Sorry, I just went to go beat her up. Domestic violence? Yeah, I beat the crap out of her. Literally me. What's up, Annette? Go follow me on Twitch. Don't do shit like that, bro. It's cringe. <sighs> Isn't it true that nearly 25% of Americans say they know someone who died after having a reaction to one of the COVID-19 vaccines? No, that's not true at all. What the fuck? Dude, the COVID vaccine, like, side effect rate was, like, point some point like one percent or something i know that's crazy hold on i'm just curious percentage of people who had covid vaccine side effects um Vaccine have vaccines resulted in any deaths? Um, so between December fourteenth, twenty twenty, and June fourteenth, twenty twenty one. The United States gave more than 310 million doses of three authorized COVID-19 vaccines. According to the public database known as Vaccine Adverse Effects Reporting System, apparently there was 5,343 deaths, if that is to be fully trusted. The, C the CDC is very clear that report of death on on V-A-E-R-S does not mean that a vaccine actually caused the death. CDC and FDA physicians review each of these cases in great detail once they're made aware. So, hold on. Let's do that. What percent is that? 310 million divided by 5,000. Oh, that's not the correct way to do a fraction. I just did it upside down. 5,000 divided by 310 million. <laughs> that, even if those numbers were 100% true, that is 0.00001%. Just so we're clear. Even if that was true. My mom said my brother was an angel, but when I threw him off the balcony, he didn't fly. <laughs> what? That's crazy. What's up, Aaron? Fart fest? Yeah, we're not listening to that, you freak. <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Hi, Hannah. Did I vote Kamala? Nope. I'm in Massachusetts, and I voted for Claudia de la Cruz. Yeah, so it's just people being stupid and wrong is what the point is. If if what people are saying can't be backed up by actual stats and facts from the experts that catalog this information, they're just lying. What? <laughs> Let me. Yeah, what the hell, platypus? That shit's messed up. I agree. That's true, Splash. Can you stop getting rage baited in queue? 
I'm not raging though. I was just curious. I I guessed it was even a, a bigger percentage than it technically technically is. I just like, I like basing my talking points and what I believe in like, I don't know, statistics and studies. What do you, what are you saying over there? I can't even understand you. Okay, Eileen. Shlee keeps calling me Eileen from regular show. Yeah, that doesn't really seem likely. Sap. I locked in just for you, sweetheart. And like I said, that was... That shit doesn't even mean that, like, it actually happened. Like, the CDC and FDA were saying that... It's not even like just because it's reported doesn't mean it actually happened. But like I said, even taking those numbers at face value as if each and every single one of them is true, it's still 0. 0.0001% or whatever. Every single medicine has side effects. Potentially some fatal side effects. If you, if you take enough Advil, you'll die. Tylenol, like any medicine has side effects. It's just, unfortunately, different humans react differently to treatment that might work on almost every single person. They're inc some shit is incredibly rare and sometimes connected to other medical complications. Like I'm sure people who were immunocompromised Actually, that's not even true because people that are immune co immune system compromised would still be taking the vaccine so they don't get COVID. So yeah, no. Yeah, yeah a lot of people just love to lie and believe fake shit, unfortunately. Definitely just some, like, hogs. Yeah, I knew someone that died the COVID vaccine. Score a goal? I did score a goal. Oh. Never get anything good, a.k.a. wet fart sounds. You're a real piece of work, you know that? Speed, 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 speed. I'm ongoing. Huge. Big news. Big news. Two time tiny. I love how that's an own goal. Exactly, Sap. Exactly, exactly, exactly. Vaccines have literally eradicated diseases. Like, I feel like people truly don't understand or know how important vaccines have been to modern medicine and saving so many lives. Oh, nice try.
I didn't mean to own gold, bro. It was an accident. My fault. Look at that. See? It's okay. I just made a nice pass. We're good. Regain. How many taxes have I dodged so far? Oh, like, so freaking many. Like, probably... Probably billions of dollars. Huh? And this is why I get audited. <laughs> I love you, IRS. It was a joke. Please. Bro, I never said that shit. What the hell? What the hell is quote 86? Hey, thank you for the sub. I appreciate that, milk. Milk boy. Make polio great again. That's RFK's campaign slogan, or it was. Bring back diseases that have virtually been eradicated. What do you say? Shut up. Right here, this is where we score. Maybe not. Okay, okay. GG, 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 Hey, I appreciate that. Thank you, Milky. Bumblebee tuna. I think that medicine and pharmaceuticals and all that stuff shouldn't be for profit or private anyways. So yeah, I agree. It should be all... That should be completely non-profit shit. Plus 150. Yeah, right. We didn't do that good, but we did really good. We went like plus 80, I think. Still really fucking good. How you get GC? Nah, I'm not a I'm not a booster. Sorry. Also true. No, I don't know. I don't understand what you don't understand. RFK is a conservative conspiracy That's theorist right. grifter, bro. I have now reached Super Saiyan Rose. He doesn't give Andy a fuck. 740, tier one about has joined Paps Peeps. Dude. Greater than. Motherfuckers that are spreading fear mongering about modern medicine use modern medicine. They are literally grifting, bro. They are either grifting or actually insane. Like, look at all, like, the conservative commentators talking about how the vaccine is... The fucking vaccine's killing people, blah, blah, blah. And yet they fucking took the vaccine. No. RFK is not for anti-capitalist measures, believe it or not.
Bye, Dav. GG's. We freaking owned. Oh, Ondi. Thank you for the sub on Twitch. I appreciate that. What the heck? Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. Um, ow. I'm hopping off pretty soon. Let's try some ones game. See if I get any game. What did you just throw at me? You just threw Wooper at me. She just threw Wooper at me. Hey. Can you see that? Is it weird for a straight man to visit a gay bar? No, like why? Well, I, I wouldn't be weird if they were like out with friends or whatever. In general, I wouldn't be weird. I endorse the bullying. You're so mean. Do I agree with Biden? I don't think it was Biden that said that. Wasn't it Bernie that said that? Yes, I agree. But the, it's not like... It's not like the Democrats abandoned the working class and the Republicans are for the working class. They're just both against the working class. <laughs> it's not like it's... Not like Republicans are for and Democrats are against. They just both aren't. <laughs> Oh my goodness. I don't know if that was appropriate for a stream. You didn't do anything? You, did, you didn't just flash me? Okay. All right, yeah. All right, sure, yeah, cool. <laughs> they did command horse fart again. <laughs> hope things get better. Aww. Well, I hope they get better too. Also, Tay asked you to push me out of my chair. I, I guess they really just support violence against me. It's messed up. Bernie was spitting with his analysis about the election. Yeah, Bernie's usually spitting. You stink. Why are you looking through my shirt? Why are you looking through my shirts? That I like that shirt. No, don't take it. Are you gonna take it? Oh, don't take my clothes. You're not gonna bring it back for like a week. Huh? I can have which one? Hmm. Okay. I like that shirt too. Okay. Don't forget to bring that back too. Yeah, I know you do. You had one of my sweatshirts for like five months. Oh, great. By the way, no! Damn. I was hoping you clutched up, Cal. Why am I lucky? <laughs> okay. Shalisa is talking about stealing my stuff. Aw, I appreciate that, Echo. What the hell? 
Y'all are so freaking sweet. I appreciate you. Thank you so much for being here and making this community and this stream a better place. You're awesome. And I really hope that the rest of your semester goes goes well. Because you're stealing my stuff and throwing stuffies at me. I, it makes sense. Who, who requested the Whopper song? Hey. Can you bang the trans aliens? Yeah, exactly. My clothes are getting... St oh, <laughs> I can't tell stream about that. <laughs> anyway. Um... Yes, yes, sir. I'm one of I'm one of those those illegal aliens that got transgender surgery in prison. Hello, it's me. I'm one of them. What'd you say? Stop sniffing the shirt, you freak. I just own gold, I think. Oh, I got it. I can't believe that was actually said and people believed it. You're transhuman. What are you doing here? You're not welcome. I'm gonna puke if I throw this game. Oh, he missed. Never mind. Tell chat about the ramen I made you. Don't talk about that. Talk about when you eat it. That's it? That's all you... It was good? Cute. I have concepts of a plan. What are you? <laughs> hey guys. Pops went to sleep. Okay, get up. The bits are over. Oh. You need to learn when bits are over. Okay. Come on. Alright. The people won. Dude, what the hell? Attempted murder? <laughs> oh, yes, I just woke up. Okay, move. You have bedhead. I have. Bedhead ah. Uh. Ow. Stop throwing stuff. You are asking for it. Do it. Everyone supported you. What are you doing? What are you doing? Everyone supported, supported your attempted murder on me. Fucking take the blinker. That's what I'm saying, Fugu. She's such a pussy. Like, literally, that's some pussy shit. Like, oh, I don't want to take a blinker before work. What are you afraid of? How about you live a little bit? Huh? What? <laughs> can you say that louder for the so they can hear? She said, what's DN? He's nuts. He's nuts. 
Alexa. <laughs> Violence on blink heads? How was how was Black Ops cuz? Snuff stream? What? What's Lee's job? Shlee, how would you describe your job? You what? She said, I list I list pieces of cardboard on eBay for rich people. That guy was funny. Hell yeah. Did you guys do good? Have some fun? I have maybe one more game in me, but Shalee leaves pretty soon. Damn, Kez. I didn't know you had it like that. You're so tired. Go to sleep. Know how we do. I guess imagine you saying that in your fucking British accent. Know how we do. <laughs> Good night, Tay. Appreciate you. Love you. You have slept? Oh. Good night, horse fart, said Shlee. You say it all the time. I love it. Hannah's addicted to that shit too. Wait, Hannah, how was your laser hair removal? You, you said you were having your appointment, but you never said how it was. How was it? Good? Thoughts? After, after your fourth sesh? Do you notice anything different? Anything more? Damn, okay, Lemmy. Still is... What do you need me to do for you? How about I put you in a bag? I was answering, that's fine. I've been live for over four hours. Australian, Australian spotted. Did they, did they zap you like when they removed tattoos? Yes. La but last time, if you know the difference last time, maybe even more this time. Let's go. Hell yeah. Let's go, Hannah. I'm, I'm, I really wish I could just get laser hair removal over with like off the bat. I like just get all eight done at once. Fuck it. Fuck me up. Hi, Toasty. It was great. For me, it's, it's, um, they're still on a pretty low intensity, so it really hasn't been painful for me. Um, and I hope, I hope it continues to be that way. It's a little painful on the upper lip area, but other than that, it's pretty easy. Oh, those are nice, Lemmy. Those are always relaxing. But okay, we're going to hop off. It's so expensive. I got really lucky with like a Groupon deal where to do laser on my face and neck, it was only like 300, I think it was like, was it three? Yeah, I think it was three hundred like ten dollars or something for eight sessions on my face and neck. So like, that's awesome. Like that is so affordable. And like I said, it's eight sessions. So like, unless, like I, I'm a pretty good candidate for laser because because I'm white with dark hair. So um, I would assume that eight sessions would be more than enough. So pale as printer paper. That's another way to put it. You're pathetic. All right, all right, all right. We got to rate out. We got to rate out. Um. Before I go, make sure if you have not yet liked the live stream, 
I would appreciate it. Um, hi, Mar. Bye, Mar. I would appreciate it if you like the live stream. We're going to rate out on YouTube. I won't be rating out, obviously. I don't think you can. But I love you. I appreciate you, YouTube. Thank you. Very, very cool to meet some very new cool people today. And thank you for supporting. Like dropped. Thank you. Um, but yeah. Uh, until next stream, at some point later today slash tomorrow. Until then. Bye, YouTube. Bye. Okay, your turn, Twitch. You gross little freaks. Let's just raid. Let's just raid Ryan. No, I love you. I appreciate you seriously. Um, good night slash good morning, whatever time the day is for you. Goodbye, Echo. Goodbye, Lemmy. Mar. Kez, Fugu, Hannah, um, not Shli, Majid, anyone else I'm missing? Oni. Good night. This is very nice. He is playing Yakuza. Yeah, he's been playing it quite a bit. I meant, ah, Good night. Sleep well. Thank you. Yeah, I'm going to be, um, today was nice. Today was a, You're such a B word. Mars here. Okay. Um. Fuck. I, do I lost my train of thought now. I'm trying to start. Bye, everyone. I think I was just saying bye, everyone. I love you. I appreciate you. It's gonna sound because it has so many. Se oh my God, Kez. That's actually insane. But yeah, I'll uh, see y'all next stream. Till then. Bye.